Some of my friends have stood by me through thick and thin, Bob, you know, when I've been ill, sick. You know what I did with you. I was always there. I was always there. Just you were the, always there. On the other end of a phone line. <laughs> I hadn't realised when you said you came to my rescue when I was... Um, can yeah. I call it down in the dumps? Yeah, you were very cynical about the whole comedy world, weren't That's you? That's a very nice thing of you to do, That's and I mine. thank you. It's been my pleasure, actually, Bob. That's good. <laughs> we actually did that. <laughs> we did that! <laughs> was your dad strict, Paul? No, not really, Bob. He didn't shout or anything like that. He was, it was, it was quite a quiet, calm bloke, really. Did he have, a, like, a quiet authority like me? <laughs> <laughs> Paul, you probably think I'm being nosy, but... Well, you are a bit, yeah. No, but my old man died when I was seven in a car crash. I know. I feel sad for you about that, Bob. And I've often wondered what it's... I didn't think I'd missed it, but I really miss it as I got... when I got older, when I was a dad. And right. thinking I didn't have that role model, you know? And I've subsequently found out that when the dad dies... Yeah. ..in those circumstances, one of the kids will always become what they call the hero child. You became that hero yeah, child? Yeah, so doing all the cleaning, going down the really? laundrette for me mum. And that suddenly life wasn't as... wasn't the same. I wasn't right. a little kid anymore. Really? Yeah, and it's sad because I was only seven. My dad only died in 2018, so... it's quite raw with me still. I really miss him, and I think about him every day. But, weirdly, I don't feel very sad for very long. I, I have such sort of positive memories of him. How old was he, Paul? Well, he was old. He was 86. Did you tell me he stopped fishing? Yeah. You know, I mean, you couldn't stand in here, could you, as an 80-odd-year-old? What he really liked to do towards the end was feed the birds. Tuppence, just tuppence, 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 tuppence a bed. Cheers. Well, mate. Cheers, indeed. Cheers, that looks nice, your beer there. Good day's fishing, that one, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. You did really well today, Bob. You did great with this, that. You got a bit coy. <laughs> <laughs> My mum lived on her own, Paul, and she very rarely saw a soul, yeah? No one. One day, and it's so unlike my mum, she said to me, um, could I have a hug? I haven't been hugged since I can remember, you know? Wow. It's a bit, you know, it's a bit morbid, but yeah, I would like, I wish I could have told my mum I loved it. I didn't tell her, I don't think I ever told her. Well. I did say goodbye to my dad. Yeah? Did you have a moment when you kind of realised you're not seeing him again? I had a sort of feeling. I suppose I didn't really want to acknowledge it. You know, he was in hospital for two months and it was a, it was not a very nice decline in that, you know. Yeah. But I saw a little glimpse of it in him when he realised, you know, and he got, he got very emotional and sort of, you know, told me he loved me, which... Oh, well, that's yeah, nice, isn't it? Which people of his generation Probably don't do. Men no. don't. And he, you know, I knew he did, but he never said it, you know. That is a big deal, isn't it? Yeah. Have I ever told you I love you? No, you don't need to. I just sense it. Well, you can smell it. You can <laughs> smell the love. Yeah. <laughs> Paul, you said you were going to bring some photographs of when you were a teenager. Yeah, I've got me. You're going to show us them, then? No. <laughs> yeah. Go on. All right. Yeah, I've got me here, Bob. Look. Number one, first ever salmon. Look at the high hair on White House. Oh, you've... <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. There's no product in there, Bob. God, I can't... It's just I... natural electricity and testosterone keeping it up. Look at this, though. This'll get you. We're talking bands. <laughs> Look. <laughs> just, I you got a glimpse see... of it. Whoa! Look at that. Rock and roll. There's skinny white house. A little bit of makeup on. Look at the size of your collar as well. Yeah. Well, you we were gorgeous then. Thank you. Here's a good one for you. Look at this. My mate Jim's wedding, right? Yeah. <laughs> You're laughing, I'm laughing. I can't. 
Are you laughing now? Look Who's at that. Who's laughing now? Look at that. <laughs> Will you? Look at that. What, the poodle haircut? Yeah. Look at you. Look at the suit you're wearing. Yeah, it's a wedding. I do put a suit on for special occasions. Yeah, but you, but you wore your hair like a poodle. <laughs> yeah. For the happy couple. <laughs> My dad's birthday today. Is it? Would have been. Oh, well. Very near your birthday then. Yeah, it was. So, yeah, we would often go fishing together. For a birthday treat? Yeah. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, it was always lovely. Very memorable, you know, from decades ago. Fixed in my yeah. mind, yeah. Do you do anything to... To, uh, to celebrate his birthday, I think. Just... Yeah, well, I would have done. My sister, his wife and me, we would meet and yeah. have a meal, you know? You don't do anything like that for your dad, do you? No, not for me. For, for my mum, yeah. December the 10th, um, all her sons get together. Oh, right. That's... Toast the memory. Yeah. Tell the same old stories again, yeah. you know? But it's fun to remember Yeah. Them. Yeah. Oh, you're over there. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm doing you our birthday party. <laughs> Can you see? Fireworks. Are you sure that this is the responsible behaviour? Yes, because they're near a cake. Oh, right. That's the rule, is it? Happy birthday. Well, thank you very much. Is it heart healthy? <laughs> no. But it's just once a year, Paul, isn't it? Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, my God. Yes, I've been to Lidl. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Cheers, we really good. That's and the fish. trout are rising, the mayfly are rising. Look at the light, Bob. Look at the light. Yeah. Look at that. They're amazing, isn't it? And there's one final thing. Sorry, I am actually just just a, the sheer beauty of that is just sort of. Um, is the word enraptured? Are enraptured? Yeah, I am. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Paul. You know, I went to the garden centre. Yeah, I do, yeah. Well, I didn't go just to go to the cafe and have a Chelsea bun. I went to get you a present. So I bought you a fig tree. A fig tree? Yeah. And wow. Then, and then, Paul, after I'm gone, right, uh -huh. and it starts to bear fruit... After you've yeah, gone? ..you can bite into those figs. <laughs> And I'll think of you. I'll think of me, yeah. Well, you put me to shame, but I, there is one thing I can do for you. I'd like to give you the fly that I tied. Oh, thank you. So there's three flies. Made by your fair hand. I'm going to put them in my hat. Good lad. So, Paul, this was our Mayfly trip, yeah? Yeah. So we were thinking about what we fit into 24 hours. Yeah, this would be something, wouldn't it? The truth is, Paul, mm -hmm. I don't think we could fit it all in 24 hours. Well, let's hope we live a bit longer than that, then, eh? And I think that's the final solid proof that we are not mayflies. mayflies. We are humans. Humans. To so humans, eh? Yeah? And away. away. <laughs> humans. <laughs> Bob, you don't seem very happy. What's the matter? Eh? You don't. You seem a bit down. Yeah, I'm a bit down. That's okay. What about if they liked or subscribed to uh, Bob and Paul's YouTube channel? Would that cheer you up a bit? Yeah, that would help a bit. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. Then see if you can cheer Bob up a little bit by liking and subscribing to our YouTube channel. I might even get out of bed. <laughs>